here I am in Carnarvon on the banks of the Menai Strait and I'm just going to show you Anglesey, what it looks like from this side and uh, I walked around the island, uh, completed the walk yesterday and got to Menai Bridge. Today I'll be just going to have some breakfast in Morrison's where I've done some shopping and um, then I'm going to catch the bus back to the Menai Bridge and walk all the way back here. I wish that the logistics were as easy as this every time. I stayed in Bangor last night uh, at an old familiar site where um, I met the Dare to Go people, that's Yasha and Jürgen, and stayed on that site, that'll be familiar to them. And um, I'm going to be heading down the coast, I'm looking at a, booking a, a campsite uh, later this morning when it opens, uh, which is about another seven or eight miles further down the coast. But I was really sad to leave Anglesey in a kind of a way. I've had such a great time there, met some wonderful people and uh, a great experience. And looking back over the river at Anglesey, uh, I can see all the familiar places that I walked past yesterday. So, gonna have some breakfast, catch the bus and I'm on my way. So this is where my walk starts today, that's the last, the nearest I'm going to get to the Isle of Anglesey again and now it's a case of finding the coastal path and walking along on the other side of the Menai Straits. Tuesday the 17th of July and here I am on the banks of the uh, Menai Straits on the Welsh side. I can see through the trees uh, to the other side where there's Anglesey. I left the bridge this morning having driven the van up to Carnarvon and uh, parked up, had a nice big breakfast at uh, Morrison's, got the bus back to Menai Bridge and now I'm off on the coastal path and this really is a coastal path this is fabulous I'm in a wooded area now not very good for telephone reception I've been on two or three telephone calls that have just fizzled out because I'm in a heavily wooded area very close to the water so I would imagine the signal is pretty bad and so for Ray who tried to call me five ten minutes ago I do apologize that we got cut off twice and I'm expecting a call from the campsite that I'm trying to book for tonight which is at Dinil I think it's called which is about maybe 10 miles to the west of Carnarvon. After the walk finished at Newborough on Sunday afternoon I drove to the campsite and uh, 
spent the night there and it rained more or less all night and it finished more or less two o'clock three o'clock in the afternoon so then I that gave me an opportunity actually to get completely up to date with my editing and get cleaned up again and then I drove over to Bangor where I stayed last night on the same site as I stayed once before where I met Jürgen and Yasha in their van and um, then I left there this morning to drive up to Carnarvon. It was very unusual seeing rain, it's probably the first time since, I know I've mentioned this several times, it's the first time since I left Ravenglass which is on the Cumberland coast and that's the first time I've seen rain and bizarrely I discovered that my windscreen wipers don't work. I can't remember the last time I actually drove in rain on this whole sort of uh, 98 day adventure up to now. So this is great, loving it. Uh, I had a good rest yesterday. I feel great today. I feel like walking. I've had a nice big breakfast. I feel really ready for a new challenge. It's nice to get Anglesey out of the way and back onto the mainland and already the logistics are proving to be exactly perfect. Uh, couldn't, couldn't have been any better this morning the way this has worked out. The weather today a bit cloudy, the sun's poking through. I've put my waterproofs on and, and my hat because it's a little bit chilly walking through these uh, foresty areas but I'm sure give another hour or two I'll be stripped down to my usual walking stuff. I've got plenty of water with me and there's going to be loads of cafes and that kind of thing on this walk all the way to Carnarvon and I'm going to have a walk around Carnarvon later on and do some filming of the castle and all the town centre and all those kind of things that I'd like to see even though I've been here several times I want to see it all again. So here we go. It's uh, 11.30 now and uh, I've come out of the wooded area and the fields and the sheep and all that and I've come back onto the main road here 487 which takes me to Carnarvon and rather disappointedly I've just reached a roundabout uh, I'm walking in the opposite direction from the roundabout incidentally and uh, it tells me that it's one and a half miles to Menai Bridge so I've just walked about five miles through all the woods and stuff and uh, I'm only half an hour it's taken me it's, ta 
it's taken me quite a long time to get to here but uh, sorry I'm just crossing a road here dangerous um, I've just spent two hours walking along the coastal path to come off to find that I'm only a mile and a half back from where I started very badly signposted the the walk but uh, one of those things but the sun's come out now I've stripped down a bit it's a lovely walk I'm really enjoying it and uh, I've got all day I just called a campsite on the coast who were quoting 38 pounds a night because now they say it's high season that's ridiculous so I'll do a bit of wild camping tonight I don't mind that It's 1.30 now and I've got to say I'm quite disappointed with this walk I seem to have spent 80% of my time walking along the A487 or if not actually on the road 
just on paths by the side of the road which are uh, quite irritating. I've had one or two glimpses of the uh, the straight but you know only in very short spells and uh, obviously you know they've done the best to keep the the coast path going but it's nowhere near the the, the beach so to speak and uh, I thought it sounded like a really exciting walk, you know, the Menai Straits bridge to Carnarvon. But um, it's just one load of tarmac. But never mind, I've made good time. I've not, I haven't seen anybody else. I haven't seen any other walkers whatsoever. And uh, away from Anglesey, I suppose that's to be expected. But when I get further out into Wales, um, I'm sure it'll all come back again and uh, I've got fantastic memories of Anglesey and the wonderful people that I met and the friends that I made so I'm feeling pretty good about it and I've only got another week to go and it's my birthday so I'm looking forward to next, not this coming weekend, the following weekend going off to Landudno to meet up with my daughter and the grandkids and do some camping on the campsite where I've already stayed actually at uh, Rose on Sea which is part of Colwyn Bay so I've only got about another hour and I'll be in the heart of Carnarvon and uh, have a cup of tea and take some seriously good photography and camera work and video etc because I've, I've been to Carnarvon before and, and it really is, the castle has got to be seen, it's quite amazing.
Thank you.